change. I'm Marvin L. I'm Rachel Lindley. I'm Ambrisha. And I'm Megan. And we have a question from a viewer. How come chicks are so picky when they date or when dudes approach them, but when the tables are turned, dudes don't care? A guy could find something about a chick in the first glance or sight that would make them say, I would talk to her. Girls don't give dudes a chance. If you don't meet their standards, whatever they are, they won't give you a second look. And they say they really want to hear a woman's response. Well, the first thing I have something to say about it, um, basically, not everybody you approach might not like, you know, they, they're not going to always like everybody. Um, let me put it like this. Um, you're not everybody's type. So, like, if you do approach a girl and she, if she is picky, then stop going to those types of girls. You can actually, you know, you can get a feel of that just by walking up to them by the way they look at you. But girls are like that sometimes just because of what they experience what they're used to. If a girl goes to school, she used to guys dress up all the time. They wear Jordans. They don't wear Vans. Because, I mean, every girl has a preference. And shoes um, has a big part in that. But, I mean, yes. like, <laughs> girls and the way you wear your hair and stuff like that, it's, it's, a big, it's a big thing. Just like they say that if girls take care of their feet, just like if guys take care of their shoes, that shows how what kind of men they are. Yeah, like, I think every girl has a type. Like, I know personally, you know, I refuse to date other types of guys that I've dated before and haven't worked out. Um, like, I, I, like, marked that. I blacklisted it in my mind, and I'm like, okay, that didn't work out. He's this kind of a guy. I'm just saying. That's but, true. You yeah, know, and, like, I don't date preppy guys anymore because I got screwed over over and over and over again. So, like, I don't date fratastic men. So. <laughs> Why were they rude? Or, yeah. <laughs> or yeah, they were, to be the player type? Yeah, or? like rude and player and like, you know, really cocky and... About themselves? Self-absorbed? Mm -hmm. Very self-absorbed, not worry about me, usually. But sometimes you can't tell that just by looking at someone yeah. or the first time you see them, like, you can't, you don't know how they're going to be if they're big-headed, if they're rude, or how they're going to treat you. I mean... They could look like trash, but they be treasure inside. Yeah, <laughs> they could be, you know, they can treat you the way you want to be treated, but you would never know that just by the first time you see them. But nice on here, this person says that a guy could look at a girl and be like, "I would like to talk to her." Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the right words that you want to say because yeah. guys are physical, and if a girl's not small with a small waist, what they say in all the rap, the uh, rap songs, the rap videos, mm -hmm. they don't say a normal girl with a thick waist and a unfamiliar shape with <laughs> a little this big and the other this. You know, they don't say that. They have a particular all, thing. They like, like hot guy. Yeah. They, don't want guys, so they, they, they want it easy. They want every girl to be easy. They want it to be <laughs> like nothing. Okay. But they have a choice. They have a, They have something that they want. If a girl doesn't have a big butt, whatever the guy likes. If he likes a big butt, you nice know, big feet. boost. Boost. <laughs> If they like a big bust area or whatever, small feet, small hands, yeah. short, hair. tall, good hair, bare hair, long hair. I mean, don't care. No. <laughs> Pretty high. Pretty teeth. Girls have the yeah. same thing. So we all pick and choose. We're all choosy. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I think everyone's picky, though. Yeah. 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 I mean, but then I if it comes down to your teeth, I mean, dang, if the dude really has crooked teeth, are you not going to choose him? Or if the girl has crooked teeth, but what? That's the no. only factor now? Okay. Come on now. I think you should just find one thing that you know that you really, really like. And if everything else adds up to everything that you really like, that's a plus. Yeah. That should just be like plus, 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 you know? <laughs> Once you get to know them after a while, it looks kind of fade away. And then you're not you know physically stuff. attracted to them mm -hmm. anymore. So the personality has to keep things going. So if you choose a girl or a guy that looks good from first hand and that's what keeps you going after a while, that's going to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's going to die. Um, but actually, the question that you're actually actually trying to ask is why is girls so picky? Um, I'm not going to say that we're all picky. We're not going to just date anybody. Nobody should ever settle. If you want something and you want that, get it. Don't You don't be like, oh, well, he's really nice, but he, he just doesn't. He, he, uh-uh. No, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Just, just like men, y'all don't settle. Y'all don't be like, oh, she, she got a big butt, but her stomach kind of sticking out there. I, I think I might. I don't know. She looks, you know, so <laughs> at the same time, girls don't she look at guys and be like, oh, I can okay. sleep with her. Guys mostly do that because 
We have shapes, we have figures that, you know, we can't see anything under your clothes. True, if but you're I'm... wearing a 3X and you're really a medium, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> Don't tell me about the shirt either. But, yeah, don't, yes. <laughs> but girls and shoes, we, we pick and choose who we talk to because of what we like. If we like a man that carries himself a particular way, that's what we do. But that's that, that's just why. I mean, honestly, are we? Are y'all picky when it comes to guys that approach you? Or? Just one. Yeah. I, mean, I have a certain preference. What's your preference? Oh, me? Yeah. In general, you don't have to go really in oh, detail. In general, um, usually personality sticks out the most. Um, also, intelligence, and you never will make me laugh. The know, first sight. I mean, the first sight. First, first sight. I like guys who are maybe chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. That's the first thing. Faces. Chocolate. Um, <laughs> Preference. I, I'm little. I'm short, so maybe not too tall. Like you oh, can't be really? like six feet, <laughs> but <laughs> maybe. Five, ten, eleven. That's right. That's, That's the cutoff. Six foot. That's the cutoff. Five, ten is the cutoff. Other than, but um, yeah, you know, nice personality, um, nice smile. I like, I like those things. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing I look at is what shoes you have on. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Or how they, how they look. Yeah. I mean, if they're clean or. You know, I mean, if it's raining outside, yeah, I understand, you know. But then also, if it's raining, you have your suede shoes on, I'm going to look at you again, too, so. Oh, <laughs> what did you say your first preference is? Um, my first preference is, I don't know, I guess it's just the way you come up to me, the way you approach me, the, re the, uh, the, the respect you come up to me with. I guess that's just the, the way, like how you walk, what kind of, if you got confidence, that's what kind of strikes me because you don't talk to them. You see them before you even have a conversation. So everything is looks. Your swag, if you have a swag, that's a plus. So, and, and you know, not being too, I don't want to say gay, but like feminine, you know, that's a problem. Um, I'd say the respect and how you approach me is a big thing with me too because I can't have a guy coming up to me trying to be like smooth or corny ass. Yeah. yeah. Or like <laughs> like really possessive or anything like that. Those lines. Or like touching me. I don't like that. Yeah, we had a mm. discussion about that? Yeah. Yes. I uh, don't That's touch me, you don't know me. So you know, I can't stand that. Also, I like height a lot. <laughs> I like tall guys. I don't know why. And we do give guys chances. It's just just like girls we don't, it, like you see girls don't approach guys, I wonder why, because at the same time, girls and guys have the same problem of being, you know, like, denied. And also, like, down here in the South especially, like, I know my parents always taught me don't approach guys. Like, old way, like. <laughs> That's old fashioned, that's the old yeah. fashioned way. I mean, my parents are kind of old. Yeah. No offense, mom and dad, if you watch that. <laughs> <laughs> but like. <laughs> Like, I mean, I think that has a lot to do with it for some people. Yeah, but a lot, like nowadays, girls will go get it. And if you want it, you better get it if you want it. But if you don't want it, don't, you know, fall back. Because yeah. sometimes it's always good to have an old-fashioned type of guy. But these guys these days, they're on this mode of, girls should do this for me. Girls should do this. They should start stepping up. I'm thinking guys want us to be the pants, you know, and they be the dress from what I see. Y'all seen that Bad Girls Club episode? Yeah. Would you rather be the pants or the dress? <laughs> I'd rather be me. I, I don't know what. I'm like a to be sport. somewhere in between. How about the sport? The sport. How about the sport? That works too. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be too possessive. No, you, too you don't want control. control. You want him to make it, let him feel like he's a man, but yeah. at the same time, you want to also feel like an individual, like you don't need him. So. Yeah, that's true. Stay independent. Stay independent. <laughs> And uh, we'll be right back with the range. <laughs>